Hey, I want to let you know about a community film photography project that you can join. My oldies here already know all about the Frugal Film Project I joined and participated in last year. Well, the project is back for 2022 with a couple of twists. So here's what's the same. It's still open to anybody who signs up on the Frugal Film Project Facebook page and answers the questions and agrees to the rules. And I've got a link for that in the description. So each month, this group of cheap photographers shoots a roll of cheap film through a cheap camera and then post their results on the Frugal Film Project's Facebook page. It's not a competition, it's not a contest, there's no entrance fees, just a group of laid back photographers seeing what they can get without spending a lot of dough. So here's the differences. Last year, your camera could cost up to $50. This year, to account for inflation, the price cap is up to $75. Last year, you could pick a new camera every month. This year, you're stuck with the same camera all year. Unless it breaks, then you can pick a new one. Now as to the film, last year you shot one black and white stock for six months in a row and one color stock for six months in a row. This year you're shooting the same stock, one stock, every month for the entire year. Now I actually like this change because I've been feeling black and white a lot more lately. Now when I think of cheap black and white film, a couple names come to mind. Fomapan and Kentmere. And I was planning on using one of those, but late last year I got a tip that Adorama was offering slightly expired five packs of Fuji Acros 2 and 35mm for $29.99. At six bucks a roll, it was still a little bit more than Fomapan or Kentmere, but then I found out from Greg MC on my community page that Adorama dropped the price again to $24.99 of $5 a roll. I couldn't pass it up, I had to pull the trigger, so I ordered a bunch for the project for the entire year. Now that my film was set, I had to pick out a camera. Now since this film is 35 millimeter, that automatically rolled out all my cheap 120 cameras. So no Holga, no Debonair, no Diana. As far as cheap 35 millimeter cameras are concerned, I've got a lot of options. The Lomography Sprocket Rocket just squeaks under the $75 limit, but it's a little harder to scan those panoramic images. I've got a couple of Olympus Stylus zooms, but I haven't shot them before, and I'd really like to use something that's been proven to be at least somewhat reliable. The Vivitar Ultra Wide and Slim is one of my favorite cameras, but it needs a lot of light, and 100 speed film like Acros just wouldn't cut it. So I needed a cheap 35 millimeter camera with a wide aperture to deal with that 100 speed film, and I settled on my Nikon N65, which I got for $2.25 on eBay, with a 50 millimeter f1.8 lens I got for free from my boss. It's the same rig I used when I explored that abandoned school last fall. So with my camera and film all set, I loaded the Acros 2 into the N65 and headed out. I developed the roll in my kitchen sink with Kodak HC110 Dilution B, and then scanned the images with my Epson V550 using Epson Scan 2 software.
as expected, the Air Coast 2 performed well. It expired in October 2021, so shooting it in January 2022 is not a problem at all. Nice contrast, smooth, fine grain. Acros 2 is a beautiful film, and at five bucks a roll, it's a steal. Now, as for the camera itself, I did mention in a previous video that my particular N65 has a hair trigger, so I did misfocus a little bit on some of these shots, but for two and a quarter, I can't complain. Now, I'm really happy with my choice of camera and film, and I look forward to shooting this combo for the rest of 2022. If you want to see last year's Frugal Film Project videos, click on this playlist to see all 12 episodes from 2021. And if you want to catch all future episodes of the FFP, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I encourage you to join the Frugal Film Project this year, and until next time, do some good, have some fun, and shoot some film. Thank you.